My name is Anushka Berige and I am a lead member of the Lila Youth Dance Company. I'd like to welcome you, you all to our fourth classroom concert, where traditional kathak is performed to live music. Our performers today are Shri and Krishna Patel, accompanied by musicians Shivam Sadame and Chirag Dixit, with reciters Vernika Butt and Anvi Joshi. Before we dive into this program, I'd like to encourage you all to follow our journey and stay up to date on our upcoming events by following us on Instagram and Facebook at Angeles. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the donors and patrons of the Leela Foundation, the first US-based endowment for Kathak dance and Hindustani classical music. I'd now like to invite our artistic director, Rukmini Mehta, to the stage to say a few words. Namaskar, everybody. Welcome. It's a full house. It's lovely to see. Um, I just want to take a little bit of your time to tell you a little bit about our school and what you're going to be seeing today. So at Leela, we teach Kathak, classical dance from northern India. Kathak is one of India's eight classical dance forms. And our school is known for its traditional approach to teaching the art form. And so the performers you're seeing today have started when they were about six, six years old, six or seven, and they're members of the Leela Youth Dance Company. And the dance company is comprised of about 10 young ladies, all of whom started at that age, and all of whom demonstrated a real dedication and love for the art form and a real commitment to studying. So this is classical dance, so it demands quite a lot from the students. These young ladies have been studying three to four times a week for about 10 years now. Um, and they really, I really mean it, three to four times a week, pretty much year round, in addition to all the summer camps and the summer residencies and the extra rehearsals that I demand of them, which are <laughs> numerous. Um, but they have developed a real ability to embody this art form and this lineage. And so these concerts were set up because the next kind of big step for them is to perform with live music. And traditionally, Gatek is a solo art form. One dancer dances on the stage for an hour and a half to two hours, and they perform with a quartet or a trio of Hindustani classical music. So that can be a sitar, which is a string instrument. Today you're seeing the sarangi, which is a very, very old and the original instrument that Gatak was performed to, and of course, tabla. And what's really exciting about Gatak dance is actually like jazz music, Gatak dance has a very, very important improvisational aspect to the art form. And it's, it's not known as much because as the art form has developed, some of the some of the original kind of components of the art form have gotten <coughs> lost or diluted. So as Gatek dance has come to the West, the art form has started to focus a lot more on production, lighting and costuming. And we've lost some of that raw original improvisatory element. And yet for a student and a practitioner, it's the sign of real ability and real mastery. So these concerts really are, you're watching the development of growth and growth of these young ladies. Um, we we really want to thank you all. We in our tradition we consider an audience being a part of a young dancer's journey as a blessing. So your presence here today blesses their journey and encourages their journey to move forward. So from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to thank you for taking an afternoon out to be a part of Indian classical dance and music. And the very first thing we're gonna do is open with young, our three young little kids. Um, traditionally in Hindustani classical dance and music, the opening is always with young students. Um, they're considered auspicious and pure hearted. And so they're going to come and bless our stage with their performance. So I'd like to invite Isha and Sohana and Rumi onto the stage for the opening act. Now for our main performance, we'll be hearing Kathak Dance Kathak Dance Next are reciters Vernika Butt and Anvi Joshi.
And finally, our performers, Shreya and Prashad Patel. <laughs> an invocation to invoke the elements and the gurus, followed by a pranam. Just give them a minute to tune their instrument. Dancer explores the thaw through hand gestures, 
footwork, and compositions. Today I'll be performing Pat and Jumpo, which is a 10 minute set.
So, like Prisha said, in Gatthek you are exploring the rhythmic cycle. So it's a very mathematical thing that's happening. It's math, it's poetry, it's rhythm. So she's dancing in a 10-beat cycle, and um, I'm, I'm very good at throwing my students into the deep end. So what's difficult about what she's doing is a 10-beat cycle is not something we typically dance in. We typically dance in 4-4, four, four, 16. So now when you're playing with 10 beats, it's two, three, two, three, and it's not as intuitive. You have to be very aware. Secondly, she's not uh, praised as to what Nagma, which is the melodic um, 10 beat cycle that Shirag is playing, and he threw a real hard one at me. I couldn't find some today. So she, he's, she's hearing this 10 like, that she's never heard before, and Shivam is also not not doesn't know the compositions as, you know, we don't rehearse. That's, Guruji would say, you're an artist, 
when the tabla player and the Gatek artist don't rehearse and they meet on the stage for the first time. So what, what's happening here is very tricky for all parties. There's a lot of risk involved. So we're going to do that last composition again because we didn't quite make it to that one. And it's very common. It happens all the time. When when even my Guruji, I, I saw him perform in his late 60s and 70s. And when he himself missed that one, he would say, Abad, he was Bengali. So again, and he would do it again because everybody's kind of trying to, you know, find ground. So we're going to do that Chakradar Bihai again. Okay. Yeah. You up for it? Here we go. Everybody. that encompasses all elements of the dance, including poetry, music, pure dance, and pao, which is expression. Din, din, na, din, na, din, na. Yeah. 
question and answer, and it demonstrates the exchange between the artists and the musicians and the dancers. <laughs> That's Darky Bunnishes. Set your pencil.
Provisatory, and when you're first when you're first learning, you you set a framework, and then you kind of play within that framework. So usually the tabla artist is responding to whatever he's hearing in the moment. So before we conclude, I just want to ask Shivam Pai if you wanted to do the Dihai one more time. Sure. Yeah, because we're kept, he's catching it for the first time. It's the first time. So can you ladies just recite? And they they created this Sabaljava. So this is a piece they created on their own. I had nothing to do with it. So they composed it. They choreographed it. Um, all of that. Um, do you want to recite that Dihai? And then do it one more time for a big finish.
let's give let's give the artists one more round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gerard Vixen. <laughs> Shivam Sudame. and for Shepard. Thank you all for coming to this performance. I'd like to encourage you all to consider donating to the Lila Foundation. And to let you all know, the youth company is putting on their first full-length production, production on May 11th. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Angeles to get more information. Thank you all for coming, and please join us outside for some tea and refreshments. <laughs>